viewer welcome again to msonge organic family farm and today we want to show you our next step in the establishment for the for the products for our pakacha group this area here as you can see it has been just like that over there with the small bushes and we have just been cleared it has been like that for a long time ago so we are clearing parts what we want to use it and what we clear here we believe that uh, the soil is fertile enough we will see the the, the outcome of uh, of the plant that we have here when you have look at the soil it's dark it's a fertile and uh, we thought that then you don't need to put compost let's plant and see how the plant develop and, and when it says that okay now i need nutrients that's when we will put some nutrient from the plant in this plot we also have planted in rows the two rows are with the tomatoes um, followed by a row of uh, followed by in the middle here after tomatoes we, we are planting uh, marigolds this would be the flowers that will be also acting as a pest control and also beautify our farm and then we have two rows of uh, uh, green pepper and then followed by another line of marigolds uh, two rows of uh, uh, tomatoes as you can see they've just been planted yesterday and followed by a row of uh, onions here we will be harvesting spring onions and so on until we get to the end of it when we are doing this establishment, we also take time to prune our trees. As you can see, the mango there is pruned. We also take time to harvest the, uh, to prune the neem tree. This is a huge neem tree here. To prune uh, the uh, cinnamon. All those leaves there are cinnamon leaves and because they are plenty, they will also be used in compost making. And we also prune our, our traditional fruits which is Mauritanian something. I cannot remember the right name for it, but it is a fruit which the kids eat. The, the, the procedure, because we are already here and we are doing some watering, for every tree we will plant, uh, um, we will plant black pepper. And as the black pepper climbs on the tree, then we, and the water is around, then we will be, in two, three years, we will also be harvesting black pepper on the farm. And this is multiple cropping, which we encourage people to do. Also today, as it's Saturday, is a day for compost making. And the material for compost are collected, and we start making compost close to the area. As you can see there, uh, Matonia is collecting green stuff, and some, some kids uh, uh, come along, Oyo, they uh, have already uh, collected some brown stuff and some brushes and some uh, cow dung. This will be the area for compost making because then it will be enough shade for the compost to be developed and it will be close to where we want the compost to be used. We will also use most of these uh, cinnamon leaves also to go to the, to the compost because we also have plenty of the of the cinnamon and uh, when we follow up we will see what is the development of the vegetable and the next step in making the compost because for us you feed the soil so that you get your plant you don't feed the plant with the ready-made stuff from the industries but you feed the soil and feeding the soil means you are nurturing and you are culturing your fungal your bacterials which are the good bacterials in there so that then they can keep feeding the soil making the root exodus comes out this is symbiotic this is a relationship between between the plants and the soil which unfortunately with industrial agriculture we are killing that one thank you very much uh, next week we'll come again and see what is the development and how the compost making is going